very dramatic. Like in less than two weeks, it was like 12 pounds. And I didn't feel like I was like, I, I didn't think that something like that was ever possible, you know, outside of like some illness or something, but it, it really worked, you know, in terms of the counting macros and calories, I, that goes against everything I've ever heard in my life about dieting and exercise. Um, I, I'm telling you, I don't count any calories. I don't count any macros, um, you know, definitely protein focus, but Bobby tells you the right things, what you're allowed to eat in small portions, what you shouldn't touch and what you should touch. And, you know, six months later, I'm eating more food than I ever thought I would imagine doing. And it, it's not moving the scale or the body fat in the wrong direction. It's moving it in the right direction. And if that seems impossible, I'm here to tell you it's not. What is going on, everybody? Bobby O'Brien here. I got my client Steve back on the channel with me today. And when he was last on, we were chatting back in May and we started in March and he lost 30 pounds in two months, got a flat stomach and lost 14, about 12 to 14 of those pounds in the first nine days of us working together. And I would love to dive into that as well. And most of his weight he lost right before his wedding. And I could go on and on with all the amazing things that he's done with us working together. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just hand it off to you, Steve. Thank you for being here, man. Welcome back to the channel. Here. Glad to be here. Awesome. Yeah, real cool. So for everybody that didn't watch the first interview when we spoke back in May, do you mind giving us a background on who you are, what you do, and what led to us connecting? <clears throat> sure. So I'm a, I'm a network engineer and IT guy by trade. I sit at a desk. I never leave my home. I'm a fully remote worker, 45 to 55 hours plus a week, um, unpredictable all hours type schedule. Um, we don't always know when our clients are going to need us. Um, you know, I, I do go to the gym, but for many, many years, I felt frustrated with my fitness and health. Uh, I felt like I tried everything, kind of stagnated progress, kind of like going through the motions, but spinning my wheels, um, not even excited about the gym, you know, and I was tired all the time and feeling kind of defeated um, in gym and in life. And, you know, I, I felt like I had tried everything in terms of like online videos, online classes, in-person classes, like in-person training, um, all kind of frustrating for different reasons and doesn't really fit around my ever-changing schedule. So I saw Bobby's, uh, Instagram ad one day and, you know, I, I did the best that I could, uh, to research because, you know, you never know what you read online. And after looking through some of his client testimonials like this one, I decided to give it a go. Awesome. Yeah. And man, what a, a great decision that was for sure. So kind of like backtracking, you know, I, I want to talk about like the first like time period, you know, from point A to point B from when we first met to the first you know client interview we did, which was March to May. And then we can talk about, you know, what led to the additional results you saw from May to October. So like what led, like what were the big significant changes that led to those like first 12 pounds being dropped in nine days? Like knowing that you were, you know, struggling, like trying all these different things, like, because a lot of people will hear that and be like, man, like, how is that even possible? But what were some of the things that we did specifically that led to such a significant result so early? Sure. So, um, I, I feel like one of the things that I like about your program is you don't just care about the 60 minutes that you have me in the gym, like personal training or the class. It's like about the whole person. And there was a lot of education on, you know, the dieting aspect with respect to like what's safe to eat and what reacts with your blood sugar in certain ways. And, um, you had, you had prescribed like the 80, 20 rule, but I think I went pretty much 100% in and, very dramatic. Like in less than two weeks, it was like 12 pounds. And I didn't feel like I was like, I, I didn't think that something like that was ever possible, you know, outside of like some illness or something, but it, it really worked. Um, and alongside that, like the structured workout plans hitting every uh, muscle group at least once a week. Um, and, you know, very easy to follow, explained it in a way that if I can understand it, anybody can understand it and, you know, open for questions. So really caring about the whole person and not just, you know, the, the routine, you know, the, the routine in the gym for those 60 minutes. And I think, uh, you know, it really got me focused where I felt like my focus had kind of been all over the place before. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. You know, and like in about two months, like after that, you ended up dropping about 30 pounds in two months. Right. And that's when we did that first you know, client testimonial that you did back in May. And then now you are like well under 200 
for the first time in what is it six years about six years yeah wow yeah that's that's incredible so what were some of the changes that like or maybe i know we made some small changes but i would love to hear from you directly that we made from you know point b in may up until now fast forwarding in october that led for that continued and sustained weight loss because a lot of people will say like man someone lost 12 pounds and you know 10 days it's very likely they gain it back like what were the action steps over the long term that led you keeping it off indefinitely yeah so there's a Obviously, anything in life, consistency and in, in process and behavior matters. Um, I, th I think there's this old saying, uh, if you want different results, you got to change your behaviors that you're going to do to get there. And in particular, it's, uh, you know, if you fall off the horse, everybody does. I'm human. You know, Bobby's human. Everybody is. If you fall off the horse, don't let it be an excuse to be like, well, you know, I'm going to just give up on the whole weekend now. Get back on. It's It's a temporary setback. It really put my attitude in a positive place. Like uh, it, it kind of snowballs on itself. You know, when you see the results, you want to keep doing the thing that got you there. And it's like some people start at the beginning, like I just want to lose a few pounds. And then it's like, man, I can keep this snowball rolling. And that's where I'm at today, almost seven months later, you know, and I think we made some changes in terms of the uh, like carb intake a little bit. You know, we added some of that back in, which it, it seems counterproductive, but you know, you're, it's, it's adding back in that you'll still lose weight and fat. Like that doesn't jive with what most of the, the science and knowledge out there says. Um, and I think we added in some more complex, more compound, heavier movements and kind of helped me break through some plateaus along the way. So. Yeah. 100% man. Cause like a lot of people, whenever they want to drop, you know, their first like 10 to 20 pounds with more of like a longer term goal, that's higher than that. You know, they feel like they have to be like in a low carb setting forever, but a lot of people just don't know how to make that transition to slowly scale it up and integrate it into your busy schedule, of course, which is what we, you know, did for you, right? So eating a whole lot more in the way of complex carbs, vegetables, fruits that are a little bit higher in fructose and just reintroduce that. And, you know, you're a living example of that, of that really being possible in the long term without you actually gaining that weight back because- you just continue to hit new goal and new goal, new accolade mm -hmm. over and over, even while doing those things. So it's incredible. So like you mentioned, like how this has had an impact on your attitude as well. Like what other, how else has this had like an impact on you, you know, in a positive way, just like outside of just general health and fitness? Sure. So um, you, you always do this kind of for yourself, but you know, when you look skinnier and drop weight, people notice and like, I don't live for those compliments, but they certainly do a wonderful thing for your mood and your attitude. But it's also like my overall demeanor has shifted from kind of like, I don't know if I can do this to this is possible. And, you know, it's, it's affecting my personal relationships. Um, it's affecting, you know, other things I want to do. It's affecting my performance at work. So it's, it's really like a wholesale uh, change of attitude. Not that I was necessarily a negative Nelly before, but, but really like, a kind of a pessimist versus optimist kind of dichotomy, right? Where I'm like, now I see the best. Now it's like where I didn't think something was possible. Now I think it's possible. And even in terms of my physical appearance, I'm like, I'm never going to look like that guy in the magazine or in the gym. And maybe I'm not a hundred percent of the way there, but I'm closer at my age than I ever thought I'd be, you know? 100%. I mean, I'd say you're Jack now with the recent progress picture you uploaded, man, look amazing. And that's the, that's the thing, right? Like, it's not just about getting the result, but like what you can achieve with those results, right? Is results that come with the result. And like that, that's what's really important. Like the why behind it, what's actually motivating you. And when you experience those things, it's almost like, it, it's like just completely bewildering, you know, once you actually start to experience it after so long, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, how is your, like, yeah, like knowing that you experience that, like how is your mindset like shifted in terms of you being able to collapse time and get to where you want to go faster by investing in yourself and information to get there versus somebody that's just wandering around in the dark, not knowing what to do. Yeah. So um, one of my excuses that I allowed myself to use was, uh, you know, my schedule is kind of uh, non-standard. I, I operate in IT where sometimes you get called after hours, sometimes in the middle of the night, it's easy to say I'm too tired or you miss an in-person training session because they're scheduled. But uh, I didn't believe that you could work 30, 40 minutes in the gym and get these kind of results. But, but you showed the way to do that. And 
Um, it's even if you have just a little bit of time, you can get minimum time and maximum results if you do the right things and follow the right instructions in terms of both diet and exercise. Um, you know, so in terms of collapsing time, it's, you know, there's an old saying, everybody's got the same 24 hours in a day. Well, I used to rationalize if I can't get in there for an hour, hour and 15 minutes and give it my all and it's not worth it, but, but it is, it is worth it. So. Yeah, 100%. And like knowing that you are a really busy guy, you have a busy career as a network engineer, like how has this transition going from working with someone in person at the gym to just being fully online and almost cutting your workouts in half, like had an impact on your schedule in a positive way? Yeah, um, so I'm no longer having to show up at a certain time when a certain gym person or a certain class is scheduled, I can kind of do it on my own time, which makes me worry less, you know, like I used to miss a class and then I would be like, let myself get all down because, Hey, I didn't get to work out that day. But if I don't get into the gym until four five, six or seven, I mean, I can still get it in every day. Don't really have an excuse. And so, yeah, it's helped me kind of believe that, you know, no matter what my schedule is that this will work. So. Yeah. 100% man. And like knowing like where you were at, like before we started working together, like back in March, you know, like starting at 244, now you're well below 200, first time in six years, and you're experiencing all these amazing things. Like, what would you say to somebody that is in that exact situation that you were in back in March, that's maybe afraid to invest in themselves or afraid to, you know, work with a coach to collapse time for them to get to where they want to go faster? Like, what would you say to that person that is still looking to see those results? Sure. You know, I've been where you are. Um, and I know that one of the positives and negatives of the internet age is that there's a ton of information out there and everybody has a platform and it's in terms of fitness and a lot of things it's really hard to sift through it all and know what's true um but but i you know if i can be a testimonial to the results of this program that's what i'm here to do and um you know don't doubt yourself uh you know definitely there's there's he'll show you the way but there's there's work to be done if you, if you dedicate yourself and you know i i, I I personally don't put a cost on health. I try not to, you know, and I think, uh, you know, this, this has been a great investment. I'm happy I did it. Um, I look forward to seeing where I'm going to go from here on out too. So, and I got a lot that I can take with me down the road. So. Yeah, for sure. You know, cause there's just so many different like limiting beliefs that we have in our mind that are really difficult to break sometimes. And sometimes we don't even know they're there and they're actually holding us back from, you know, being this higher level version of ourselves right you know so it, it's just really cool for me to like sit here and like watch your progress over here in texas right while you're up there in chicago literally like basically just change your life and your body completely just by making some changes with the right resources mm -hmm. and you know like there's you you really can't put a price tag on that or even just in terms of commitment or time there's a lot of people that have that you know barrier in their mind like if this program didn't work you know maybe no one in the future won't I guess what did, what would you say like in terms of like encouragement to that person to continue to have the motivation to look for something that is going to work for them and their busy schedule sure yeah so uh you know again this this collapses into a half hour if that's what you got uh the education is there um you know yeah 100 percent. yeah and I just have to ask like did you ever imagine yourself like let's say like back in March or even in May, like eating this much food and not not just losing weight, but just sustaining it indefinitely. Like would you like if you were to tell yourself like back in March that you would be eating this much food and losing this much body fat, would you have believed yourself? Not a bit, but it's happening. I'm here to tell you and feel free to use some of my pictures if you want. So yeah, for sure. That's amazing, man. Well, cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for coming on to this channel, Steve. I know this is your second time and yeah, you know, this, this is just amazing. You know, you're just the ultimate representation of taking a lot of action, getting super committed and just doing what you know you have to do and hitting your inputs and the results speak for themselves, right? So if you want to learn more about how you can get a flat stomach, drop weight month after month consistently and sustainably, all the links are down in the video description, my Instagram, the form that you can fill out if you want to work with me personally, and all the client transformations as well on the top of the video description. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.